Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps on how you can go about changing your billing address or just your billing information in general. So what we want to do is head on over to Xfinity.com. I'm on the desktop version of Xfinity's website. I'll link it right at the top of the video description if you want to access it through those means. And once you're on this page, what you want to do is sign into your account. So click on the sign in option. And then enter in either the email, mobile number, or username that's hooked up to your Xfinity account as well as your password and then click sign in. And if you're not already on the My Account tab, go ahead and click on where it says My Account and it should take you to the overview of the My Account page. What you want to do next is go over and click where it says Settings. And then down here on the side under the Billing Settings, we want to go down and click where it says Saved Payment Methods. And under the Saved Payment Methods area, go ahead and click on where it says Add Payment Method. And again, click where it says Add Payment Method. And if you're looking to change the billing address, for instance, particularly on a debit card or a credit card, then choose the option of new credit or debit card. You can use the information that you had used prior with setting up your billing on Xfinity, but then of course, just entering in your new billing address, or you can also set up a new bank account if that's what you're looking to do as well. So click whichever option applies to you. For me, I'll do credit slash debit card and then click continue. And again, you want to enter in either the credit or debit card information right here, and you have the option of making the billing address different from the service address if you want. So you can check that box, and that allows you to enter in that billing address that you're looking to put in this area. And then you check this box if you agree to the stored payments methods, terms, and conditions. And you also have the ability to turn on automatic payments right here, and then you click save, and you should be good to go at that point in time in terms of changing the billing information that is associated with your Xfinity account. So I hope this video is helpful. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing and I'll catch you back here next time.